Uh, there were a lot of things that inspired me in becoming an astronaut uh, and a lot of people that helped me along the way. For example, the very first time I got inspired to become an astronaut, I, and I have to say, unfortunately, I'm old enough to remember the tail end of the Apollo program, was when I would watch uh, the Apollo missions uh, as, as they landed on the moon and, uh, and the astronauts performed the moonwalks. During that time, everybody in, their, uh, in the United States and in the world, for that matter, were glued to their TV sets, and our family was no different. And that's when I said, you know, that's what I want to be. And, and of course, uh, what I wanted to do is, uh, is, 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 you know, I said that I'm sure every kid that was 9, 10 years old at the time wanted to be an astronaut, so I was no different. But, you know, I have to give credit to my parents because, you know, I've shared this dream with my parents, and, you know, any other parent could have said, you know, hey, you know, maybe you're shooting too high of a goal. Uh, and even though they only have a third grade education, uh, they actually encouraged me and said, hey, anything's possible. It's okay to dream. If you get a good education, you study hard, you can reach your dream. And, uh, and so that was the first, the, the, the beginning of my journey to becoming an astronaut. And as I went into school, of course, my parents uh, would always, always be on top of us with respect to finishing our homework. I mean, they, our routine would be we would come home and we would sit on the kitchen table, and uh, my parents would not let us go. My mom would not let us go until we finished the homework. Then she would let us go out and play, but the homework always came first. Uh, and then as I went on to high school, I was a senior in high school, and I heard uh, a uh, big news that really changed uh, my, my outlook in terms of what I was really going to be, and that was when I heard that Franklin Chang Diaz got selected as an astronaut. He was the first uh, Hispanic American to get selected. And at that time, that's when I told myself, you know, after I looked at his bio, uh, you know, he, because he came from Costa Rica, and so he looked just like me. I said, well, he looks just like me. And then he spoke English with an accent just like me. And he came from humble beginnings just like me. Yet there he was, an astronaut. And I said, you know what? If he could do it, why can't I do it? And that's when I promised myself that I would do everything in my power as a senior in high school, because I knew I was going to college at that time. I was going to do everything in my power to get selected as a NASA astronaut. 